Hi everyone, it's Sanya from Pharma Questions here. Over a series of videos, I'll be covering minor ailments which can commonly present in pharmacy settings. In this video, the condition covered will be threadworm. Threadworm or pinworm is caused by a parasitic worm which infests the human gut. Now, while that may sound quite traumatizing, it's a pretty common condition especially in children and it's easily treatable. So how do you get threadworm? Threadworm transmission occurs through the fecal oral route when the eggs are ingested. So this may be hand to mouth contact after scratching the perianal area or by handling contaminated items, toys or touching contaminated surfaces. Now let's have a look at symptoms. Infestation with threadworm often presents as intense perianal itching which is typically worse at night. It can often disrupt sleeping. However, a small group of people may not experience any symptoms at all and detection of the worms is done by visibly seeing them. They are typically small, white and thread-like. Treatment of threadworm is commenced when the worms have actually been seen or detected. For children under 6 months pregnant or breastfeeding women, first-line treatment is carrying out strict hygiene measures for 6 weeks. We'll have a look at these hygiene measures in a couple of minutes. For children and adults over 6 months, first-line treatment is strict hygiene measures for at least 2 weeks and a single dose of the drug mebendazole. The dose is typically repeated after 2 weeks to ensure complete eradication. It is also important to note that the use of mebendazole under the age of 2 is unlicensed. As threadworm is highly transmissible, it's often recommended that the entire family is treated as well as they may have threadworm but are asymptomatic. Now let's take a look at some of the hygiene measures you would recommend to patients. First and foremost, it's important to wash hands thoroughly with soap and water after using the toilet, changing nappies and before handling food, cutting fingernails regularly, avoiding biting nails and scratching the infected area, taking a shower each morning, including washing the perianal area to remove eggs from the skin, changing bed linen and nightwear daily for several days after treatment, washing dry linen and clothing in a hot cycle, and last but not least, thoroughly dusting and vacuuming, including vacuuming mattresses. It's also important to counsel patients that this is not a condition to be embarrassed about as it is very common and it doesn't mean that there's a lack of hygiene as threadworm is highly transmissible so it could have easily been picked up from touching a contaminated surface or by kids playing together. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.